Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. As always, I want to give a huge thank you to all of you guys watching. Um, if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. It would really help me grow this channel and I would hugely appreciate it. I did also create a Patreon account if you like what I'm doing and would like to support my channel um, in another way. If you can't do that, like I said, just hit the subscribe button and I would hugely appreciate it. So, I've got a... A journal that I'd never heard of before, uh, beyond a couple weeks ago, to review for you guys this week. So this is the Lestallion journal. I really hope I'm saying that right. I'm really bad with my accents, and I'm probably saying that the most American way that I possibly can, which is not great. So I apologize if I'm saying that wrong, and I will do my best. So I had, about a week and a half ago, I had the founder of the company, Carlton, reach out and say that he liked what I've been doing on YouTube, and would like me to review his journals. And naturally, I said yes. Um, I tend to use, I typically have two or three journals going at a time. I think I actually have four right now, which is a bit over the top. But if you're asking me, I tend to like to think, keep things concise and in one journal at a time. So um, Carlton was nice enough to send over two of the journals that I had picked out. He's got four different colors. Um, he's got these two, and then an ash gray, ash black, I think it is, or a khaki one. So if you've seen the stuff on my channel, I mean, I've got two leather things within reach right here, and they're both brown. I just reviewed, I've reviewed this one in the past. I just recorded a video for this one. I'm not sure when I'm going to post it yet. But my bag over here, which I'm not going to move the camera to because I've got a pretty good mess over here going on, but it's brown leather, and I just really like those. So he was kind enough to send over these two for my uh, review. <clears throat> so before I dive into the actual journals themselves, I like talking about the company. So it's inspired by the stallion horse, which is a male horse that has been ungelded or not castrated. And horses tend to be pretty, according to my wife at least, uh, male horses tend to be pretty finicky, aggressive, um, and just do their own thing. You know, they're gonna do what they do regardless of what you want them to do, which is something that you might want out of some horses. So you want, you're gonna keep them ungelded so they can reach their full potential. By, geld, by um, gelding a horse, which I think is the right word for it, um, you're basically making that horse tame and docile and basically to do, thing, do the things that you want it to do, like be a workhorse, um, follow my commands, whatever you want it to be. It's not going to rock the boat. So in personal and professional life, the idea is that the person who's pushing the boundaries, doing what they want to do, um, just going for their full potential is going to be the one that achieves more in theory. And so Listallion wanted to come up with a good quality notebook in that principle. So oftentimes when you're first getting into stationary, if you've just never used a good notebook in your life, um, you're probably just gonna be using the standard spiral bound notebook or lab notebook that you used in high school. And when I first started this blog, I was actually using a notebook like that. And I didn't really care about what I put into it. I didn't really care about the notebook. I actually never finished a notebook. Um, and then when I finally decided to, like I needed a real notebook, I've now gone through maybe four or five just in the last year and a half between the blog and work. And, you know, I actually care about what I put into there. I care about the journal and make sure I have it with me and everything. So by caring about the journal, you're going to care more about what you put into it. And you're also going to, you know, put it right down more and just get better quality stuff out of it. So that's the whole idea behind the stallion as a company. So when you first receive, give me like two seconds. Sorry about that. I had left the protective cover over on the uh, my bookcase over there. So when you first receive the notebook, you're going to get it in a nice hard cardboard cover. It's nice, thick, good quality cardboard. And on the back, you've got some stuff about what I've already talked about. So this is for this one, the Henson, the Desert Brown. I'll get into the colors and the names a little bit later. But the nice thing about this, especially since this is a soft cover, is if you were to just ship this in the mail with no protective cover, you might end up with a smashed up journal, which is like the worst thing in the world. <laughs> Not literally, but what I, my point is that 
you're, you're, you spent some good money on a good journal and then it comes in and it's smashed up. It's gonna be like, what the heck? I'm not gonna appreciate it as much. So I like that Le Stallion sends it in those journals just to keep it safe over, you know, over the, wherever it's coming from to wherever you are. Um, <clears throat> so once I took it out of its uh, protective cover, I was instantly impressed with the soft cover. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of soft covers because I don't always have a writing surface. And as you might know, if you don't have that writing surface, um, it can be harder to write. So Listallion addresses that a little bit, not as much as a hard cover, but they've got some nice thick cardstock right here. And so I did try to write with it standing up. I think I did on the back actually. Yeah. So you can also see all the pens that I tested on it, but I'll dive into that later. So I was standing up, try to write with this on this side and actually that cardstock helps a lot. I think it also helps that I've got the pocket, the back pocket right here. So I've already mentioned, now that I've mentioned the pocket, we won't have to get to it later. So despite it being a soft cover, um, that cardstock definitely helps. So the, um, it's a deluxe faux leather cover. So despite being faux leather, it is made out of the high quality um, faux leather that nearly matches the feel of real leather, um, which I greatly appreciate. One nice thing about having a faux leather cover is if you're running your finger across it, you might get some lines, but you're not gonna get the scratches like you would on a real leather cover. So I understand that there's different camps in that regard um, as to, you know, definitely build some character, but also I, I like the look of clean leather. So if I do scratch my real leather, I'll rub it out with my finger and just a little bit of oil, but that's personal preference. So the nice thing is this isn't going to show a lot of wear. Um, it might show more around the corners over time, which as you can see are rounded, but like I said, that's personal preference. So I already, you already saw when I first opened the journal, it has a table of contents page, which I am a huge fan of. Um, one thing that I also like is you get four pages of the table of contents. And then also just personal preference, I like that it starts off with one edit at the first page instead of four or five, it would be. Um, I don't know, that's just me being nitpicky. But you can see this one's the dotted, dot grid. Um, good quality, easy, not, I don't wanna say good quality dots, but easily visible dots. They're not solid black, a little bit of gray. I don't know how well that's gonna show up on camera. Um, you can also get this in a line journal um, I'm not a huge fan of lined paper just because I like bullet journaling. Um, not my thing. So, but whatever your preference is, you can get that. Um, as far as I found, they don't sell them in blanks though. So that might be something that you, that, uh, List Alien might want to do in the future because there are people out there who really like it. So some journals that I've had, if they even include a contents page, only have two. Um, <clears throat> and so I don't know about you, but with like over 200 pages, you get about 216 total um, between the contents pages and then the last pages and the first page. You get about 216 pages total and it's 120 GSM ivory colored paper. So it's pretty thick. Um, and actually I have my Loistrom right over here just for comparison. If you want to look at the thickness, the Loistrom has 250 pages, but a thinner paper. I don't remember the GSM off the top of my head. Um, but one thing about 120 GSM, obviously it's going to be a little bit thicker. It's just heavier, but it's also going to hold in theory. It should hold up to a variety of pens a lot better. So in terms of thickness, it's about seven eighth of an inch or 21 millimeters to be exact. Um, so just keep that in mind if that's something that you want to consider, if you want something thinner. So you already saw the pens that I used on it. So let's dive into it a little bit more. So I threw just about everything I had in just available to me over a little bit at this. I wasn't able to use as many fountain pens as I would like, um, just cause I didn't have a lot of them inked up and I've <clears throat> been pretty busy. So I didn't want to ink up a bunch, but for a vast majority of the pens, you can see, you can see very slight ghosting, which is actually showing up pretty well on this video. Not enough ghosting to make it problematic to write on the other side, but there is some bleed through that I'll note. You can see a little bit here and a little bit down here. So down here, 
This is the markers. So I mean, that's understandable. So I've got the Zebra PM701, a couple different kinds of Sharpies, and then a highlighter. The highlighter is showing through slightly. <clears throat> Let me get that over here. Um, but not much. It is going to be noticeable, a lot more noticeable on the other side of the page. Like I've already said, this is no surprise. What surprised me were, so these two are the same ink. This is, or no, sorry, no, right here. So this one, the calligraphy dip pen, Noodler's Base Date Concord Grape. I said Base Date Purple here. Um, but that one, I don't know when I'm going to post a review for it. I'll probably post it after I do this video. But it was finicky across the board on papers. It was bleeding through on almost everything that I tried. It was feathering on almost everything that I tried. So the other ones, like I've got the, oh, why can't I think of it off the top of my head? Irishizuku Kan Peki. I've got the Krishna V3, uh, Blackstone Barrier Reef Blue, I think it is, and just the Zebra Fountain Pen. And all of those were perfect. I mean, there's just the ghosting that you'll see with all the other pens. Mechanical pencils, I tried all different kinds on, and it handled it well, no problems there. The paper does have a slight bit of a pattern to it. Um, so when you're writing, you will get a little bit of feedback. Some people really like that. Some people really don't. I'm kind of in the camp where I really don't care. But, um, you know, it is what it is. So it, I tended to notice it a bit more with fountain pens than I did anything else. And a little bit more with ball points. Not more so than fountain pens. But keep that in mind. If you really don't like the feedback, probably might, might not be the journal for you. So beyond the known problematic inks, this was good. Um, so it, one of the last things I wanted to get into is this is supposed to have a lay flat spine. And soft covers are notorious for not being lay flat. And so this isn't a perfectly lay flat journal. You can see I can fit my whole hand under here. But it is going to be better than, you know, something like Evan Northbrook's journal, I think is upstairs, that just closes no matter what I do with it. Um, obviously, it's going to be more problematic as I get fewer pages on this side. But there's still a little bit of give that's keeping it laying down as I write. So it's not going to be, I'm not going to be fighting it every time I pick my hand up. And like I said, obviously, as I get farther and farther in, that's going to be less and less. And then there's some issues with the bite, not issues. But there's some things with the binding that are also going to be pulling the pages one way or the other, just given how it's sewn in there. So overall, um, awesome notebook. Comes in four different colors. Henson, Garano, uh, Arigo, Arigos, I guess I'm probably saying that wrong, and Galloway. So these are in order. Henson is desert brown. Um, let me see. Let me double check. So this one's Henson. Um... This one's Garano, so the one, the lined one over here. Um, Arregios, which I'm probably saying wrong, is ash gray black. So it's a really cool grayish black. I like the look of it. I'm just not a huge fan of black leather. And then Galloway is like a khaki color. So they run about $20, but you can get 10% off using the coupon code UNGELDED. Um, so that'll get you it for about 18 bucks plus shipping and handling. Um, overall, awesome notebook. My complaints have been really minor and mostly down to personal preference. One thing that I didn't mention is the, um, what am I trying to say? Bookmark. It's a double stranded bookmark with a little tassel at the bottom. I don't like things with tassels on them. Um, I think it just gets in the way and it just kind of whips around a little bit easier just cause there's that weight there that you're not going to have with just the tassel. And I would also like to have a second um, strand. So maybe I'll cut this. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I tend to like to keep things the way they are and unmodified. So like I said, my only complaints really come down to personal preference that they've been relatively minor. The paper handles a ton of pens very well with problems that were expected that you're going to see on almost any paper that you use that ink or that pen on. Um, the lay flat binding works relatively well. This will probably get better in time and better with time and as I use it more. Um, they only come in A5 with dotted or lined. So if you like blank paper, you know, maybe reach out to Listallion and say, hey, you should make it blank and let them know that that's something you'd like. Holds up well the fountain pen ink, which is what I primarily use. Um, I don't, I'm not one of the ones that, I'm not one of the guys that tends to have like 
six pens inked at one time uh, just because if the ink dries out then it's a pain in the butt to clean twenty dollars you're paying more than you would for most journals especially if you go the non-name brand route but you're getting a good quality good feel journal that you're going to be you know proud about carrying around people are going to notice and be like hey that's a nice journal um, whereas if you just had the lab notebook you're just another person in the bunch um, I don't want to put it that way, but you're just using the same thing that everyone else would use and, you know, go a little bit, you know, if you like stationery, you know, we definitely appreciate good journals. We're willing to pay that 20, $25 for a journal because we use it and we value it. So check them out. Um, let them know that I sent you over there if, uh, you'd be so kind and I would greatly appreciate it. It's been one of my longer videos. So I appreciate all of you guys sticking it out, um, just to see all the different aspects of this journal. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and check out Listallion.